I'm Matthias, I'm the founder of PR Lab. We are a global tech PR firm headquartered in Amsterdam, operating all over the world. Welcome to our YouTube channel where we discuss everything about doing PR in digital era. Today, we're going to talk about the benefits and disadvantages of doing PR. I hope you are as excited as I am, and let's dive right in. What are the nine benefits of doing PR? The first one is that it elevates your brand awareness. It boosts the reach of communications and marketing efforts, which generates increased brand recognition. PR also builds a positive brand image, it shapes and upholds a positive brand reputation, which is crucial for market positioning. PR also builds credibility, which uh, reinforces the brand credibility through positive external validations. Lead generation is also one of the benefits of PR, because it enhances your market position and attracts qualified leads. Another benefit of doing PR is that it attracts investors. It's useful in garnering investor attention and trust. PR also builds trust via endorsements in renowned outlets. It builds and sustains valuable media connections, which in return helps you get featured in renowned outlets read by most probably your decision makers. PR also builds relationships from a content perspective, so it broadens the commercial sphere of the brand and helps you tap into the conversational sphere of the brand. PR also maintains your reputation, which is focused on the long-term positive reputation management and also helps you navigate crisis. PR also has an educational value because it aims to educate the public and provide value-driven content. And lastly, PR will position you as a thought leader. It will help you stand out in a saturated field when done right, of course, and it will help you differentiate your brand from the rest. And it also helps you compete with well-established parties in your field. What are some of the disadvantages of PR? So I picked four, but there are of course many more. But I think the main one and the first one is that it's difficult to measure. PR sits at the very top of the funnel, which is very hard to link with lead generation or how many clients you got, mainly because there are multiple areas and departments involved in the journey of a visitor into a website that PR has no control over. Another disadvantage to PR is that there is little control. PR is reliant on third-party endorsements. There is no direct influence on campaign outcomes. Another disadvantage of doing PR is that it's a turbulent industry. The ever-changing landscape of marketing and communication is something that is constantly evolving and changing, so we constantly need to adapt to a market that is not static. And lastly, the last disadvantage of doing PR is that there are no guaranteed results. Your strategies might not always yield the desired outcomes, mainly because they are third-party reliant. I hope you like this video and I hope you subscribe to our channel, but most importantly, I hope to see you in the next video. We're gonna talk about more things about doing PR in digital era. Oh, 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 oh,